Hey guys, what's up? This is Nayan here from TechParic Solutions and today in this tutorial we will learn how we can wirelessly stream any sort of sound or music to our speakers which are set up at our house or our office or any other place. Now for that we will require a wireless network and this is the most important thing. Without a wireless network you cannot wirelessly stream sound or music to your speakers. Second you will require an Apple specific device. Now this device is known as the AirPod Express. This is slightly costly and not slightly, it's quite costly, it's 7000 rupees. The earlier model was 4000 rupees, I've got the older model so I'm quite lucky for having not spent 7000 rupees. But uh, if you want a cheaper solution, I will be uploading one more video that will be through a Raspberry Pi and that will cost you like maximum 35 dollars. So that's a really very cheap solution compared to the 7000 rupees solution. Now after the AirPod Express, you will require a source from where you can send your sound or music let's say a Mac, a Windows or a Linux machine or even your mobile devices like iOS or Android now on mobile devices only those applications which support AirPlay can stream wirelessly stream sound or music and fourth but not the least you will require a speaker now a speaker can be either 2.1 surround sound uh, system or it can be 5.1 surround sound system or 8 speakers or it can be a single speaker so we just want these four things and you can set up wireless sound streaming or music streaming at your house, office or any other place. So let's begin with this tutorial. We will require a software named Airport Utility to configure the Airport Express and 5.6.1 is the latest version for Windows. So just go ahead and download it if you are on Windows and if you are on Mac you will get 6.2 which is the latest version and you will constantly get updates because it's an Apple software. So this is the device, this is the AirPod Express and this is a 4 year old device so basically this is a 4 year old model. Now the new model costs around 7000 rupees. I got this device for 4000 rupees and we have got a Ethernet slot, a USB slot and a 3.5 mm headphone slot and if you notice more closely you will actually see that there's a sound logo over here the apple sound logo and we have a reset button over here so if you anytime you want to reset the configuration you can do that now over here you have the connector so you can use any sort of connector i've got this particular connector and then i'll just connect it with this particular three pin and then you can just connect it to any particular port and charge it up I mean provide electricity to it now we will connect this particular device to our Mac or our Windows and make sure the configuration can only done on either of these two operating systems so we will connect with the help of a Ethernet cable which is something like this and on both sides we have the same type of port this is the Ethernet cable you will connect it to the Ethernet slot on the AirPod Express and also to the Ethernet slot on our Mac. Once you are done with the connection to your Mac or Windows, we will proceed with the further configurations. Once you have installed the AirPort utility, just don't open it immediately. Make sure that the Ethernet connected to your Mac or Windows gets the IP address dynamically that is through DHCP. So on Mac you will go to system preferences and go to the network section and over there you should see the Ethernet as connected and you will have using DHCP so it will give you a random IP address it's not going to be your own internet IP address it is the IP address to communicate with the Mac or Windows and with the airport uh, express. So it's the IP address for that and make sure that your Wi-Fi is also connected. So I'm connected on my 10.0.1.4 IP address and Wi-Fi is essential. So make sure that Wi-Fi is also connected on a Windows machine. We will right click on the Ethernet or Wi-Fi logo in the taskbar. And when we do that, we will click on open network and sharing center uh, center. We will now click on change adapter settings. Now we will right click on the local area connection and go to properties. In properties we will click on obtain IP address automatically and then click on OK. Once you have done that you can open up airport utility. 
on either of your operating system either it is mac or windows and it shows me my time capsule this is on the wi-fi but you will also have a button known as other airport base stations so i will select the airport express and over there it should get some information about your network so it is reading the previous settings okay yeah now i can give a name to this particular base station let's say i am going to connect it for my wireless speaker i mean i am going to connect it for my speaker so i will name it as bose and after that i will go to other options and uh, i will select add to existing network and then it will looking for the base stations and it will say connect to 9c8's wireless network ok click on next and then it is asking me for the base station name so i will just type in bose Once the setup is done, click on done and uh, you go to your Bose and click on edit. That's the airport express and you can set up a base station password if you want to. In the internet, you have the IP address which it gets from the wireless network and it has, okay, it's now over here, it's very important, it says network mode. Now it's extending the wireless network, that's not what we want, we want it to join a wireless network. Now this is one of the worst part in the Apple Airport Express settings because it thinks that it will just set up on its own because there's a Wi-Fi network. So we don't want that way. Once it sets, it, once it sets up, we need to set it, we need to select join a wireless network. So we do that, we select the wi wireless password, we set it up and in the AirPlay section, we enable airplay and you can have a speaker name and you can also have a speaker password now click on update it should get updated pretty fast okay so the airport express which we named as bose has been updated and it's connected to our network so we'll just check the configuration once again so let's click on edit and over there in the internet section we have dhcp okay that's great in the wireless we have join a wireless network that's also perfectly fine and make sure you select your wireless network properly otherwise it might cause some issues so everything is fine we don't need to update anything so we have set up our airport express once your airport express is set up you just need to connect it somewhere near your sound system so above is my bose sound system and this is my airport express so just switch on the electric point and you should start getting a orange LED in the beginning and once it gets connected to your wireless network you should get a green LED now what we need to do is we need to make use of a 3.5 mm aux cable this is basically known as the aux cable which is 3.5 mm headphone jack on both the sides so this particular cable you need to connect it one end to your speaker and the second end has to go to the sound port on your airport express so i'll be just doing that and once you do that your bose or your speaker is connected to your airport express and now you can wirelessly stream music or sound to your speaker but my airport express is currently not connected to my wireless network it takes quite a lot of time let's say around two to three minutes if your doing it for the first time later on it might be quite fast and quick so I'll just wait till it gets connected okay it's connected you can see the green LED now once you have connected your airport express with the aux cable make sure on your system that's the Bose sound system or your speaker you have you have the source as aux now if you are on a speaker, that's a single or two speakers, you might not require this particular setting. But if you are on a particular media player or you have a box proper, then you have to set the source to aux. So once you have done that, let's get our 
device now I'm not gonna help you out in with every application for every operating system so basically I have iPad over here on the iPad let me just zoom out let me go to the music application and let me play some song so before playing a song you should have some symbol on the top something of this sort and when you click on it you should get some options so I've got my Bose option when I click on it and I have selected Bose now let's play this particular song it should start playing and it has started playing let me just increase the volume the issue is I don't know where the remote is let me just get the remote okay so there we have it you can see it works flawlessly and this can be done on your Mac, Windows, iOS, Android, any device which has a AirPlay application support. So basically I'll be posting the links for the applications for almost any device. So that's it with this tutorial guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrick.com.